Tonight on the 10 o'clock news, residents speaking out after breaking news we first brought you last night on three shootings in Jacksonville Beach. This is video of police posted to social media. It's part of the investigation into the gunfire. Between St. Patrick's Day, the end of the players, spring break, there were a lot of crowds at the beaches yesterday. 24 hours later, people who live in Jacksonville Beach did not hold back how they're feeling at tonight's city council meeting. I don't feel safe in my own community uh, between Friday and Sunday. Monday through Thursday, I'll go anywhere, do anything as long as there's daylight. I do not feel safe venturing out uh, in the community where I live at dark and on the weekends. So far, police have not announced any arrest after four people were shot in three separate locations. One person was killed. The other three are in stable condition. Police also said one of the people involved is a certified gang member, which means you need to have been arrested and charged with something gang related and connected back to a gang that's considered a certified gang. Now, this was the first push alert sent out last night just before 9 p.m. when all of this was happening. It said police are responding to an active shooter situation at Jacksonville. Beach. Our reporters tonight are covering the fallout after the shootings, beginning with news for Jack's reporter Ariel Schiller, who went to the city council meeting today. Ariel. Where I'm standing right now, I'm standing outside City Hall, which is about 800 feet. We'll take you on a walk here just to see how close it is to where City Hall is. It's like I said, it's about 800 feet from where City Hall is. About 14 residents showed up to talk during public comment about their concerns with the shootings last night. Many of them were asking city council members to give the police department more money for resources and recruitment. Earlier, we told you that city council would not be discussing this, but they did add it to the agenda at the last minute where they were able to discuss potential solutions and discuss concerns. But what happened last night, oh, excuse me, should not be happening. This is our beach. You guys gotta step up and take care of us. Person after person came up to the podium during Jacksonville Beach City Council's public comment to share their concerns about three shootings that happened Sunday night. I was embarrassed about what happened last night. This is not the wild, wild west. This is Jacksonville Beach. Florida. Jennifer Cruz was one of 14 residents who spoke during public comment about her concerns with public safety and to ask city council to give the police department the resources it needs. I want people to come and visit and spend their money and enjoy our beautiful beach, but it needs to be lawful and people need to think twice about conducting bad activities and illegal activities and bringing that garbage to the beach. I want them to be deterred. I want them to think twice about bringing that to our community. Council added a discussion about what happened on Sunday to the agenda at the beginning of Monday's meeting. Uh, During her opening today, remarks, Mayor Christine Hoffman shared that she heard from the White House, the fellow mayors and even national news outlets. She says it's not the kind of attention she wants for Jacksonville Beach. She also read a prepared statement. But I'm saddened by the senseless violence and tragic loss of life that occurred in our community last night. At the same time, I'm proud of the men and women of the Jacksonville Beach Police Department and our partners who reacted quickly to three separate incidents that occurred in very quick succession. During the discussion of the shooting, many council members and the city attorney talked about potential solutions to violence in the community and the legalities surrounding ordinances and moratoriums on special events permits as well as discussing finding a way to give the police department more resources in the short term. Cruz hopes the discussion will continue until solutions are found. We as citizens have to put our foot down and tell people we're not going to tolerate this. We're not going to tolerate this. Do better. That's why I'm here because they can do better. We can do better. As parents, we can do better. Uh, we just need to do better. Th this is it's, it's out of control. Now, during the meeting, there was mention of reaching out to Councilman Rory Diamond. He represents the beaches for the city of Jacksonville to see what help he can provide. There was also mention of reaching out to state representatives. Reporting live in Jacksonville Beach, Ariel Schiller, Channel 4, the local station. Thank you, Ariel.